Hi, my name is Janai Lane and I'm the founder of Spirit Coach Training. I'd love to just connect with you today. I'm coming from my office in the Bay Area. And if you look around, you can kind of see that I created a, a little bit of a, an altar and a sanctuary for myself. Um, this is a place that I come to meditate and to do my service work. And it feels very nourishing and nurturing here in this space. And the reason I'm sharing with that this with you is that I want to encourage you to create your sacred space. Right now we're all going in, we're in our homes, and it's really an opportunity to create beauty, create nurturance, create that space that fills us on a heart and soul level. Maybe it's things we've been wanting to do for a long time, and now is really the time to, to nest and to create sacred space. Creating sacred space in our environments can make us feel very uplifted, very elevated, and then it can also begin to point us towards in, creating the sacred space within here. And many of us, many of us right now are really struggling because there are so many problems, problems to solve um, that we're confronting things that we've never had to even contemplate before. And many things are happening, many losses, many changes very suddenly. And the mind is a problem solver. That's what the mind does. Not very well, but it's always looking for what's wrong. Always looking for what's wrong. And now it's like a field day because there's so many things that are seemingly going wrong um, in our lives, both personally and collectively. Now, this can create a lot, a lot of additional stress and strife and struggle and inner conflict. And we need to create respite from that. We need to create a reprieve. We need to consciously utilize some tools, you could say practices, techniques, to bring ourselves out of that spinning mind, out of the monkey mind. And especially now, especially now, because we're in a heightened state of fight, flight, and freeze. And this is terrible for our nervous system and makes us, weakens our immunity and makes us um, spin. And we can't do this indefinitely. You know, and we're in this for the long haul here. So how can we relax that, move out of that stress response very quickly and give ourselves a respite and begin to, to nourish, to nourish this, this inner dominion. It's very, very important. Cultivate our light so that we can be a, a calm, clear, centered, and loving and compassionate presence to ourself, to our families, to our communities, and to the world. Because our transmission is really the greatest gift we give, we give to the world. And collectively, it begins to shift consciousness very quickly. So let, let's try this together, all right? Let's try this. So, we're gonna do a practice together, very simple, very short, and I'm gonna show you to help you move out of the incessant mental framework of the mind that's always looking for what's wrong, always looking for the problem. Just, just for a few minutes. You can have them back when we're done if you choose to. Just for a few moments. So the first thing I'm gonna ask you to do, which is really important, is to connect to your breath, okay? And how we're gonna do that is I want you to 
to imagine that you're breathing in peace, the frequency of peace. Now, how do you get there? Well, in your, your inner vision, you can cultivate that place of peace for you, wherever that is. Maybe it's the ocean or in the woods, in the redwoods, where you feel very grounded and rooted. Or perhaps it's that peak experience that you had where you were in a uh, very transcendent, luminous state, maybe sitting with an enlightened teacher, or perhaps at a spiritual retreat. So recall that, recall that, that sense of peace. Because when you recall that, you begin to tap the energy of it, the transmission of that. That's what you're breathing in. So we're gonna breathe it in together, a deep breath in of peace. And hold it at the top of the breath. And on the exhale, releasing anything other than peace in your field. And again, as you tap into in your mind's eye, that state of peace, breathing it in, hold it at the top of the breath, and exhaling, just letting go of anything other than peace. And together we take a deep breath in of peace, holding it, Exhaling anything other than peace in your field. And just notice a settling because what's happening now is a dropping down from the head to the heart, the high spiritual heart, a dropping down and in to that part of us that is infinite love. And we can rest here because it's very nourishing, very nourishing. Now we're gonna use inquiry now to allow yourself to just detach even more, even more from the mind's grasping at problems. So this is the question I'd like you to contemplate and repeat to yourself. What's here now if there isn't a problem to solve? What's here now if there isn't a problem to solve? What's here now if there isn't a problem to solve? Now notice how this inquiry takes you to the now, out of the future, out of the what is, into this moment right now, this moment. And you can silently repeat this to yourself. What's here now if there isn't a problem to solve? And notice how you can just sink in a little deeper to that presence, that spaciousness, that clarity, the emptiness, the peace. And this is the peace of our nature, our true nature is very peaceful. And we're just settling into it, using this inquiry. What's here now if there isn't a problem to solve? And let yourself just relax into that. Notice how you can relax and soften and open a little bit more. Now I would suggest you use this to take you into the silence, to take you into peace, especially when you're having a hard time meditating or practicing because the mind won't, won't relax and won't let go of what it's chewing on. This is a great way to help it to just, in a gentle, loving way, to just let go and open and relax. And this can be very, very nourishing, very calming for your nervous system, very nourishing for the body, the immune system, our well-being. 
which is really critical right now, really critical to keep ourselves in this state, in, the, in this higher vibrational, higher frequency state. Very healing. Yeah. So let me know how this goes, you know. Please share and post how it's working for you as you try this. Again, these are just offerings. And my suggestion is that you try them, you repeat them, you, you do them a number of times throughout the week to really see if it works for you before you throw it out. Don't just try it once and give up. Because sometimes we need to uh, experiment to be a scientist in our own life to see what really works for us. And not everything works, and that's okay to, to put it down, but we really wanna make sure first, because we could find something that is just the right pointer to that divinity within, to the light within, to the radiance within. So I want to just take a few moments to invite you to a free healing hour that I'm doing uh, weekly, maybe even more, that has really been helping people. I did one last week and you can click the link below and watch it for free. It's an hour long. And I teach some tools and I also bring through some transmissions and together as a group collectively, we have quite a large group gathering. A lot of beautiful healings are happening. Major miracle healings are happening. And together we can, we can really receive, give and grow love together. And I just wanna share a couple of things that people wrote in with you. Um, someone said after attending, I'm not afraid anymore. My anxiety is cured. I haven't had this kind of peace for many years. That was Tara. Uh, Christine said, thank you so much for your help and guidance today. My energetic space feels more awake, full of purpose and calm. I heard you know what to do and you're fine instead of what was going on before. My body is softer and there was a physical energy release when you reminded us of, of how our abilities are waking up and now we're claiming them. Um, someone else said, I was uh, uplifted in this collective grace and awe to witness the power of the group transmit such immense love and compassion. I have a deeper understanding of love, of being loved, swimming in love, abiding peace is alive in my body now. So I invite you to come and to join us um, to both give and receive and to, um, to create healing. We do healings also collectively for the planet, for humanity. So thank you so much for listening, and my heart is with you, my prayers are with you, and I am here for you, my spiritual community, uh, during this challenging time. Namaste. Many blessings to you.